Well, hello everybody, welcome to Red Tool House. On our YouTube channel, we talk about all things homesteading and try to implement those things in our rural 100 acres here in Southern West Virginia. Well, in today's video, we want to talk about a specific project we're working on and that's moving this. Well, it's not the most exciting project on the homestead, but it's still something that we have to do around here. And the, really the, the takeaway from this video is not just, hey, watch Troy move gravel. It really is looking at additional costs that you may not necessarily consider when you're doing a project. So you think about, uh, if you've watched our videos here lately, we've uh, got the sawmill, the Norwood sawmill we've been using and plan on using that quite a bit here in the next several months. Well, we're also getting into the winter months here at Red Tool House. So while this time of year normally would be dry and I could get away with some things in October and November and first of December is usually when we start getting wet, we're already in a monsoon season, it seems like. So right now where I have the mill, I'm producing a lot of mud. With my tractor and skidding in logs and loading logs, then I'm going to have an absolute muddy mess before I know it. And man, there's nothing more aggravating than trying to run a mill, try to do anything when you're slogging around in ankle deep or even knee deep mud. So that ain't gonna work. So I wasn't planning on uh, investing the money and bringing some gravel in, but I had to do it. So here's 25 tons of gravel that I brought in on my Silverado. No, obviously I didn't. Um, I had a dump truck deliver 25 tons of gravel this morning. This is number four, so it's a little bit bigger gravel, good base gravel for what we deal with here. And I'm going to spread this out in and around the mill. Um, obviously in the camera, you can see behind me is the barn. So I had the uh, dump truck operator dump it right here at the edge of my gravel. So he didn't get in the mud, he appreciated that and it allowed us to uh, have it right here on the edge of where we want. So we're going to take the tractor, we're going to scoop it up, spread it out, use a box scraper, drag it down, and get it all nice and sexy. Let's go. Well, so this is what uh, $650 of gravel looks like. Uh, 25 tons doesn't seem to go as far. <laughs> now granted, I did leave it uh, pretty deep. You can see over here by the wood pile, uh, we're about eight inches deep. This area here was a low spot, so we're pretty deep there as well. I wanted to leave it deep so I'd get some compaction. Obviously gonna be coming back and forth with logs and with the tractor, packing that down. So I definitely wanted to, uh, to leave it deep for settling. 
So this area around the mill obviously allows me to uh, operate at a much higher point. If you watch some of our older videos, or some of our recent videos, you saw where I was kind of lamenting the height of the ground. But uh, you can see here, I've even backed some of this up, bermed it up so I can push it down, get it around my uh, supports there. So it makes it a little easier to, uh, to operate uh, in this area. So. so we'll see how that goes. That should hopefully uh, help me at least stay out of the mud on this side. We'll see uh, when we uh, drag logs in how, uh, how well this compacts. So this was one spot that was kind of interesting. There's so much water coming out of this hillside here. I've got ditches up there that are, that are draining that watershed this direction. But there's so much water coming out of this hillside from where we've had so much rain that I had to cut a small ditch here. And I'll take a piece. I've got a four inch piece of well casing that's uh, about 16 feet long. So I'll probably stick that in there as a little culvert, a little pipe to channel this water through. But it's actually running right now. We had rain again last night, but it's running like a just a light, steady stream. So that's why I took my gravel up to this point and stopped. I didn't want to just put it in the abyss of mud here. So we'll get that pipe in, cover that up, and then one of these days we'll just keep going with gravel when we hit the lottery or something like that. So in this West Virginia red clay, I don't think a person can ever have too much gravel. Ideally, I'd love to just gravel all the way up the center of the valley, but that would take... Uh, a lot of time and a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of resources that I don't necessarily have right now. But we've got what we want here. We've got a nice clean access to the sawmill. So if we operate through the winter months where this really would get soupy, then I think I can have a nice base established there. We may get some wet spots and some pockets in areas, but uh, we'll address those onesie twosies. I can take my 16 foot trailer and I can haul about four ton on it. So it's not, uh, it's not that I always have to bring in a large amount um, and have that out-of-pocket expense that high. So, yeah, for less than 100 bucks, I can transport some gravel back and forth. So we may have to go that direction. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check us out on our website, redtoolhouse.com. Take care, everybody.